Hi, I'm Mike from 1A Auto. We've been selling auto parts for over 30 years. So today we're going to remove the wiper transmission and access the wiper motor. And uh, I've already taken the hood off. You do not have to do that, but I'm doing that so that you guys have a clearer vision um, from the video so you can see everything that I do at a, or out in the open. So I'm going to remove the wiper arm cap and uh, I'm just going to get in there and give it a little pry up. And it will expose the uh, mounting nut for that arm to the transmission. That is the wiper motor transmission. And this should be a 17 millimeter socket, or you could use a 17 millimeter wrench. I'm gonna break that free. Sometimes I'll hold on to the arm and break that. And then I'll take the nut off and I'll show you how to remove that wiper arm. So this is where you're going to pull the arm up at the pivot point, and we're going to move that back and forth. Just slide it right off. Same procedure for the second arm, which is the passenger wiper blade. I'm going to remove the cover. And if you're vertically challenged like me, just hang in there. You'll get it. <laughs> So you can't um, mix up the driver's arm from the passenger arm. The passenger arm is the most elongated one with the, that curve to it. So you'll know that the, when they go back on, um, that's the position they're going to be in. I'm going to remove the hood damper seal here. Just pull that all the way across. And then I can set that aside. Now I'm going to start removing the clips with the body tool. So I pulled this clip out. Now I'm not going to remove this whole plastic piece because we just want access to be able to pull this shroud out of the way. So we're going to leave that sitting up and I'm going to move away, move all the way down here and move this clip and the next two. So there should be four total. They, they like to get away from you so I'm going to put my finger on top so I can take that out of the way. Someone's been in here before. I'll have to get that also. Okay, let me get this up out of the way. So I'm going to remove the passenger side first because it overlaps the driver's side. So I'm just using my body trim tool and you go up here and here and you undo some of the clips. Do not pry against the glass. So when I just access this side you can see the washer nozzle hose. And just they're just rubber so can you utilize your little tool here, see if you can back it off. Don't use a knife. <laughs> we all know that, you should know better. Just work it back and forth. As you can see, it's attached to the driver's spray nozzle, so I'm gonna go over that way. And I'm going to do the same procedure over here. I might be able to just grab firmly and pull up. Now that's one piece. And I can set that aside. Sometimes body clips, you know, they stay in the piece. Just like if you do a door, sometimes you'll see the body piece stay in there. Just pop it out and we'll reposition that on the cowl. <laughs> so now we have exposure to the wiper motor transmission. 
and we're going to dismount this and pull it out. First thing I'm going to do is disconnect the electrical connector by squeezing on that tab and pulling. And we're going to have one, two, three, four mounting bolts, and that is a 10 millimeter socket. I'm just going to break them all free, loosen them up. The back ones here I'll probably take all the way out. Make sure I take them out so I don't drop them and lose them. So now that we've unbolted the wiper motor transmission. In order to pull this out, we have to remove this brace that goes from strut tower to strut tower. Uh, it's not really that difficult, so we're gonna have, looks like one, two, three, 15 millimeter socket bolts. One, two, three, four, 10 millimeter socket little bolts. So once I get these out. Break these free. And now I can remove the strut tower bolts on the passenger side. Once again, we have three, one, two, and three, 15 millimeter socket. Now with a pry bar, I'm just gonna give it a little lift. I thought I was going to get away without taking this plastic piece all the way out, but I think I'm going to unclip it. So now I have, uh, looks like, easier access. I'm going to move over to the passenger side. Do the same over here. You can see I can probably get a good grip on the middle. So we have some hoses here attached, just some brackets. So I'm just gonna pry it off the mounting stud. Get that out of the way. And then we have the, at this point you can choose to pull the transmission, wiper transmission out that way. But I'm gonna pull that rubber boot out of the way, get the connector out. That way I can discard this to the side. I'm gonna push the harness out of the way here, make sure I don't damage it. And now you see the wiper transmissions exposed. I'm gonna hopefully manipulate this out. It's gonna go this way, slide it to the left. And now we have the wiper transmission in our hands and we're gonna dismount the motor and reassemble. So now with our wiper motor transmission on a table, sturdy, I'm gonna flip it over so you can see the mounting. And we have three 10 millimeter head bolts. The first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect the starter from this harness right here pushing down on that tab and giving it a pull. So now I can use my 10 millimeter socket to loosen up the three six millimeter mounting bolts. And 
You can use a wrench or socket. pull these two completely out, I'm going to loosen up the arm regulator, transmission arm, on the wiper motor. So now I'm going to loosen up this, the mounting nut. The, the problem with that is, see I can move the, uh, the arms. So this is where usually like the speed of an air gun or an electric gun will come in handy. You also have the option of prying off the lock cap. The only problem with that is sometimes if they snap, you're going to have to go, you have to go to the dealer and get it. They do not make these caps right here aftermarket. So if that's the case, I'm going to see what we have to do here to get this to pry on something. So I'm going to use a electric gun. If you have ear tools, I would suggest that. Always keep your hands free from the transmission arms because even though we're going to try to zip it as fast as we can, they have a tendency to spin. I'm going to move the washer. Now I'm just going to take a little pry bar. Pry this up. Just going to walk it back and forth. Now I can remove the two mounting bolts that I have left on. And there you have your windshield wiper motor for the front. Now we're ready to reassemble the motor to the transmission, the wiper transmission. I'm going to align those three mounting bolts back up and put my three six millimeter with a ten millimeter head. And just snug that down, get put all three in. The torque on this is really light. And the reason for it is it's the aluminum housing, plus it's only a six millimeter bolt. Torque is 5.2 foot pounds. So I'm going to go ahead and snug this and then torque it up. Pay, attention, pay in mind that 5.2 is really nothing, so literally let the ratchet bottom out, and then grab your torque wrench, there's one, Now I'm going to just take a rag. I like to clean the uh, the neural part of this motor because this is where the it takes grip on that arm. I just like to make sure there's no debris in there or grease. You don't want that all greased up. Now when we're going to put this arm back on, it's important to you've got an arrow point here and an arrow point on the actual transmission. So we're going to line that up before we put that nut down. I'm just going to push it right down in there, make sure it's mounted right. Put on the lock nut, then the mounting nut. So now with that lined up in the right position, 23 foot-pounds for this mounting nut. Now pay attention, obviously, when this starts to bottom out, it's going to turn the arm like it just did for me. 
So I am going to try an old sneaky method. See if I can hold it and torque at the same time. So I used a pry bar or a flat edge screwdriver as a leverage. See, I just placed it in there. And then I held it tight while I pried against it. So now I know that's torqued to 23 foot-pounds. I'm gonna reconnect my electrical connector. No debris got in there, looks good. I heard the click, I know it's good. Now I'm ready to go to the car and reinstall the wiper transmission. So I'm gonna take a shop vac and I'm gonna take a full advantage of having this all exposed and get rid of any debris, pine needles, leaves, etc. So now I've come over back to the car and I'm going to install the wiper transmission motor. I'm going to go in at this angle first. Try to line up the holes and get my mounting bolts. There's four of them. Now I'm going to go ahead and snug all them down and then I'm going to torque them to 7.2 foot pounds. So. So now I'm going to reinstall the brace that goes from strut tower to strut tower. I'm going to nose it in first that way. Line up the bolt holes. Push down. Go to the passenger side. Yeah. I'm going to just hand start all my bracket bolts in the back here, and then my three nuts per side. We also want to, before we do that, feed this harness right through again. See, even I can miss something here and there. It's important to get that rubber boot all the way up and around. It stops the water from traveling down, doing any damage. I'm gonna connect it. So I don't forget. Three per side of the 15 millimeter head socket nuts. And then I'm gonna move over to my passenger side and do the same. I don't want to tighten them up or snug them too much because I still have to mount my four six millimeter bolts on the inside right here. And I'm going to want to be able to shift that housing around. Move right down the line. Put the socket on this one to get it in there. 
So I'm gonna snug up the back ones. I like to move from the center out. So there's two in the center here. And go ahead and tighten these down now because I have everything mounted in place. three strut tower mounting bolts 15 millimeter socket and I'm just going to snug them up tighten them up actually move to my driver passenger side after we do these three, we have the clip that mounts underneath. I think it's got a, the hose on it, the plastic clip that goes underneath. Remember to attach that one. Now I'm going to go ahead and tighten up my passenger side. And you can see how this has a plastic, it has a little hole for an eyelet and two little ears, little ear clips. And this underneath here, there's two studs. I'm just gonna line that up, push up on it. Now that's free out of the way. So during the uh, removal of this vent shroud, one of the body clips stayed in the vehicle. I showed you how to pry that out. We're just going to snap that right back in place. Pretty simple. Make sure that they're all, well, you know, now I'm going to look because I'm wondering where that mounts. It's going to go the other way. See the, the angle? So I'm going to push this, pull that back out. I'm going to copy the other side, snap it in. Good little catch there. So you start the opposite way of removal. Removal was passenger side first, then driver. So to install, I have to install the driver side first. Spin that right around. So I'm gonna line it up with the wiper arm regulator. See where all the little clips are in their in spot. And just give it a good push down firmly. follow it along over to the passenger side. Now I can see that the washer spray hose came undone from, it has a little mounting ear, ear right here, so we wanna make sure we put that back in. Only because if that catches that regulator when that's spinning around, you will have a leakage of your washer fluid. So I have to come to this side and reconnect the washer spray hose. I'll get it right here. I didn't see any debris in there. Kept it nice and clean and clear. Okay. So now I'm gonna Okay, now we're ready to put in our body clips that go along the front. Now I'm going to install the driver's little shroud thing I took out earlier. It's going to go down in. 
line up that bushing. There's a couple of pin holes. Click that in. Now I can mount my four push pins in. Work my way over to the passenger side. Okay, so now I'm going to reinstall the seal that I pulled off first. I'm just going to start this side, work my way over. Now we're going to reinstall the wiper arms, passenger side first. Up and I'm just going to make sure that, that when I lower that, it's in the position on the glass where it's, I want it to be. And it is. So good. Now I can get the mounting nut. So now I'm going to hand start the wiper on mounting nut. I'm going to install the driver's one next, and then I'm going to torque these down to 21.6 foot pounds. I'm going to slide it down over that regulator. Let's see where this line it up in place. Snug the nut by hand. So I can get ready to torque it up. This is a 17 millimeter socket. <laughs> and now I'm clear to put the rubber caps on. Now let's go inside, put the key on, and let's see if they work. Thanks for watching. Visit us at 1AAuto.com for quality auto parts fast and free shipping, and the best customer service in the industry.